Last week, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Kiriako Tobiko, wrote to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission requesting the agency to undertake investigations on Directorate of Criminal Investigations Director Ndegwa Mohoro in his connection to the Tattoo City scandal. Mohoro has since hit back at Tobiko saying he has failed to respond to the two files forwarded to his office. We were seeking for legal advice from the office of the DPP to enable us to provide and to proceed with the investigation to conclusion. Until last week, six months down the road, my office was still waiting for the DPP's, DPP to advise us on the way forward. The files, according to Mohoro, raise pertinent legal issues, and the DPP has not yet signaled who should be charged. We never made any recommendation on any side who was capable and who was not. Lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi has raised concerns on the integrity of investigations and made allegations on the conduct of Mohoro, and the detective's boss has now instructed his lawyers to prosecute those maligning his name. I've instructed my lawyers to institute proceedings against all those that participated in ordering the articles I've referred to above. Head of Economic Crimes Unit Odiambo Kamla said the files sent to Tobiko were confidential and should not have been made public until investigations are complete. At no time did I forward the files to the DCI to enable him to discuss our case file with the other parties. Mohoro has been adversely mentioned in the Tattoo City ownership scandal, pitting former Central Bank of Kenya Governor Nashon Nyaga and businessman Vimal Shah against investor Stephen Jennings, with Ahmed Nasir sensationally claiming that he received a bribe to protect some parties.